This is flip class video number three. In this video, we'll talk about various different kind of concepts related to variable. First of all, we'll talk about the concepts of variable. Variable is basically a container of a value. And this value is changeable, so you can change the value of a variable throughout the program. Technically speaking, variable is a name pointing to a memory location, and the programmer can store and change the value of this memory location. The concept of variable usually involves two primary concepts. First is the declaration of a variable, meaning that you are making new variable. So when you declare a new variable, you are making a new variable. Variable initialization is you are assigning a new value to this variable. In Python, you have to initialize the value of a variable when you declare a variable. So in this example, you are making a variable named x with its initial value of 3. So when you declare a variable, the, var uh, the value of the variable 3 is assigned to this variable x. Let's look in the detail of the variable declaration and the initialization process. Inside of a computer, there exists a lot of memory slot for which your program can use it for various different kind of purposes. So when you execute the line of code of a variable declaration and initialization, such as i equal to 3.0, what's going to happen is a memory slot that is enough for storing your variable will be allocated to your program. And then the value 3.0 will be stored in this memory location. Your variable i will become a pointer pointing at this memory location that is storing the value of 3.0. And when you execute another line of code, in this example, when you execute the second line of code i equal to 25 you are changing the value of this variable i from 3.0 to 25 so this process actually occur in the memory location that is allocated to variable i so the value of the variable i will be changed from 3.0 to 25 when you declare a new variable you can choose almost any name you want, but there are some limitations. A variable must start with either a character or a underscore. All right, so you can start with any character from A to Z, or you can start with an underscore. The variable name must consist of letters, numbers, and underscore only. So you cannot use punctuation as your variable name. Variable name must not be the same as the Python reserved word. There are existing Python reserved words, but you, and you cannot use those words as your variable name. Variable name is case sensitive, so upper letter variable is a different variable with a low, lower letter variable. And you can use any length of a variable name. So you can have a really long name for your variable, but you can also have a very short name. Uh, for your new variable. These are the list of the Python keywords that you cannot use it as a variable name. These are reserved word. Variable type defines what type of information this variable is storing. There are some most commonly used variable types in Python. Integer variable store integer value. Float variable store real numbers, such as flow point numbers. String variable store character string, that means a number of characters. In Python, when you initialize the variable, it determines what type of variable it is. So when you initialize a variable as an integer, for example, an integer a variable x is initialized with an integer value of 3. 
then it defines that x is an integer variable and it will store integer value. Okay. So if you define x as a string variable storing character string a, b, c, then x is a, is a string variable storing string value. You need to be careful that some of the operations are not valid if you are mixing different type of variable. You can, for example, you can add an integer with an integer. You can add an integer with a full point number, but it would be illegal if you add an integer to a string variable. So you can mix numbers with different type, but you cannot mix a number and a character when you perform the arithmetic operations. You will get a syntax error if you do so. So the compiler or the interpreter will tell you that you know, it is illegal to add a number with a character. You can use the type function to check the type of an existing variable. So if you're unsure about what type a variable is, you can pass this variable to the function type and then you, it will return the type of the variable. Sometimes when your program is running real long that you forgot about the type of the variable, or in the case that you may want to perform an operation on the variable and you want to make sure that this is the only type that you are performing this kind of operation, then you can use this function type to check what type the variable is before you perform an operation on a variable. You can also make conversion between different types. There are three functions that you can convert from one type to another type. The ints function convert a variable to an integer. The flow function convert a variable to a flow point. And the str string function convert a variable to a string. So if you have a string, you can convert it to an integer. Or if you have an integer, you can convert it to the flow. Or you can convert an integer to a string and vice versa. As I mentioned, you can name your variable any way you like. You can use a really long variable name, or you can also use a very short variable name. As long as your variable name is complied with the uh, variable naming convention that we mentioned in a few slides ago. It is a very common practice for any programmer to name their, var to their variable as a very self-descriptive name such as you will name a variable who is storing the name as student name. You will also name a variable who is storing the age of a student as student age. Okay. You can see on the right hand side there are two code segments. These two code segments are identical. They work exactly the same. They basically calculate um, a multiplication of two values and then store it in the third variable. If you look into the first code segment, you'll see that you don't understand what it is doing. You know, you see that in the first line of code, there's a declaration of a variable called ASB with the initial value of 35. On the second line of code, there's a declaration of a variable called NXK with an initial value of 8.5. And then you see that third variable called NLX, and then, you know, is value is assigned as a multiplication of the first two variables. And you don't understand the meaning of this piece of code. On the second piece of the code segment, you see that there is a variable called hours. So you see that there are 35 hours. There's a second variable called hourly rates. And you know that the hourly rate is 8.5. Possibly it is the hourly rate of a salary or something like that. And then in the third line of code, you see that salary equals to the hour, number of hours that you work for times the hourly rate. So on the second code segment, it is a very clearly written piece of code. You can understand the logic by reading the code. But on the first code segment, you're just naming the variable arbitrarily. And you won't understand you know, the exact meaning of this piece of code. In this video, we'll talk about various different kind of concepts related to variables.